Can you hear me? Oops. Good evening and welcome to the budget adoption meeting of the town council for May 14th. If we could have the deputy mayor lead us in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Would the town clerk please take attendance? Councillor Breton. Here. Oh. Councillor Forrest. Here. Councillor Hurley. Here. Councillor Latina is not here yet. Councillor Lesser. Here. Councillor Rell. Here. Councillor Spinella. Here. Deputy Mayor Martino. Here. And Morin Bell. Uh, Mayor Morin Bello. Here. Thank you. Um, So we continue to ask government to do more with less as our expenses continue to rise. Um, and we're also continuing to work on redevelopment in an effort to shift some of our tax burden from our residents to um, increase our commercial grand list. These are some of the struggles that we faced, we faced during this um, budget season. We have expenses that we have uh, little control over. Our health insurance has gone up 10%. The MDC rate has gone up. Our trash collection rate has also gone up. Um, I'd like to thank our town staff for the hours of work they have put into our budget in drafting it and supporting it and change, making the changes that we've asked for. Our finance department and our town manager's office have um, worked countless hours, nights and weekends, helping us to get to this point. So thank you to Mike, to Kathy, and. Gary for all of their work along with their staff. Um, I'll turn it over to you, town, Mr. Town Manager, to make some remarks. Sure, just some quick remarks. And again, thank you, Mayor uh, and Council, and good evening to Mayor Council uh, and Council. Uh, I'd also like to just reiterate a, a strong thank you to Michael O'Neill, our Finance Director, and Kathy Bagley, who wears many hats, including at one point the interim Town Manager. Uh, both were extremely instrumental in getting us to this point, as well as uh, my team of department heads and their staff members for working diligently to spend some time with me uh, after they've already gone through this process with both Kathy and Mike uh, to help really press those numbers as tight as we can. Um, so as you said, we've been working diligently with department head staff and members of, uh, of the team, and of course the council to review the original recommended budget, which brought us to today. Um, through a lengthy deliberation process, there's a number of changes that are submitted in front of you for an approval, and uh, staff has worked to provide you the necessary motions to adopt the fiscal budget, the fiscal year 20 budget, uh, based on the adjustments and conversations that have been taking place daily and hourly and even in the last 20 minutes. So uh, just a quick rundown of these motions. They include uh, adjustments to the manager's original budget for the town, adjustments to the Board of Education's requested budget, adjustments to the library board's requested budget, providing us an outcome of a mill rate of 40.74, which is a decrease of 0.04 from last year, which this does reflect a total spending increase of 3.5%, uh, which is down from my original recommended 5.14%. The motion for these adjustments are various, and um, there were a number of scenarios that we went through that, again, adjust those original budgets. These were selected, uh, again, working through uh, Michael, Kathy, and the departments, because we recognize that as a town, we have to provide a certain level of services, and we didn't want to impact, we wanted to mitigate the level of impact that we had uh, to the residents to ensure that we could continue to provide uh, as many services as possible. So with that, I don't know if Mr. O'Neill wants to add anything or review anything. Good evening, Mike O'Neill, Director of Finance. Um, I suppose if you'd like at this point, I can take you through the, uh, the package that has the motions, unless you, uh, as you wish. You want to just make the motions? I think we're, we're prepared to make the motions unless anybody has a comment that they, or question before we begin. No, we did it last night, so. 
Okay. No. Thank you. Councilor mm -hmm. Forrest. Thank you, Mayor. Mike, under this proposed budget, uh, we just received the numbers back from you. Is the proposed percentage increase for the median taxpayer 0.1%? Is that an accurate number? Oh, That's the percentage increase of uh, the tax bill for the the average median median, median value a taxpayer median value house and two median value cars. Point point one percent. Yes. Just confirming. Okay. If you'd like to begin, Deputy Mayor. Okay. <clears throat> Motion that the budgets as submitted by the town manager on March 28, 2019, be in hereafter is amended as follows. Decrease $218 from account 110, town council. Decrease $270, account 140, information technology services, Decrease $6,947 from account 150, town clerk. Decrease $10,271 from account 220, finance. Decrease $134, account 230, tax assessor. Increase $176, account 240, tax collector. Increase $43, account 300, planning and development. Decrease $135. Account 410, building inspections. Decrease $27,394. Account 420, police. Decrease $2,913. Account 430, townwide radio. Increase $17. Account 440, fire marshal. Decrease $15,473. Account 450, fire suppression. Decrease $184, account 510, engineering. Increase $5,723, account 520, physical services. Decrease 312, uh, account uh, 620, social and youth services. Decrease $25,615 from account 700, public library. Decrease $52,583, account 800, Park and Recreation, decrease $185,000, account 920, debt services, decrease $49,000, transfers CIP slash CNEF, decrease $30,000, account 960, reserved for retirees. Do I have a second? Second. Okay, and um, just before we vote, if we add these numbers up, they come up to $400,000, is that... Accurate? I did not add them up. It's a decrease of four hundred thousand four hundred ninety dollars. There's there's two small adjustments to true up pension and medical. That's where the, the four hundred and ninety dollar deduct is, but otherwise it's you're correct. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? I have a question. Yes. Sorry. I'm sorry. You guys are moving so I fast. I know. I'm sorry. I should have asked for questions before I took the vote. This is not one of the scenarios we talked about. This is a combination of several scenarios. Am I understanding that correct? Um, I believe this is the $375,000 scenario that we received in the spreadsheet in, with, the, the additional, uh, with the addition of $25,000 so from not, the library. So not one through eight. This is a different one altogether? This is on the, this is um, the spreadsheet, yeah, yeah, would you pass that down? This is the spreadsheet that we received via email. And it's the third. Yeah, she has that. No, she was looking for that. It's the third column. It's number five. She's thinking about the uh, Oh, I see. Discussed last night. Okay. It's, so it's not one of the ones that was discussed last night. The the full the full cut is one point eight, which would be scenario five. Oh, you're increasing the collection rate too. Yes. So I guess I'm confused because scenario five had the town with three hundred million reduction, and the board of ed one point five. Right. And then when we received, sorry. right, 
So there is a, it is a, it is different than line five, but the um, full amount is the 1.8. Is that right? Yes. I need to find that sheet. <clears throat> It's a modified. Yeah, it's it's, it's the a same modified amount. scenario five. Total decrease of one point eight million. Yes. Right, so, so the board of I ed gotcha. goes down a hundred thousand. The town goes up a hundred thousand. Gotcha. Because the the um, health benefits that we initially, the custodial benefits that we initially thought were much higher, were are not in essence at that level. They're at four hundred thousand though. Right. Are there other questions? No, thank you for the clarification. Okay. Anybody else? Okay, I'll take the motion. Um, the vote again. Yes, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. Thank you. Um, the second motion? Uh, before I make the motion on this for uh, the board, I just want councilor comment. Uh, prior to making the adjustment to pros board ye budget, I like make one counselor comment for the last couple of years uh, Councilor Hurley and I have both asked the Board of Education at their budget workshops to expand their detailed new year budget besides the new budget details we request that they include at least the current year details as well uh, including prior year actuals as well would be great our requests have been have not been requested in the past by prof by providing this information would help us as well as the BOE elected officials to see what is increasing, being added, or deleted in their budget. Uh, since uh, the budget workshops are not recording, this meeting is, I'm making a formal request that this happen in the future and ask that the town clerk forward a copy of these, uh, of these comments to the BOE management uh, so they can work on any programming change that are required to make this available for future budget years. Uh, now on to the motion. Uh, the motion is that the board, that the budget as submitted by the town manager, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, by the town manager on March 28, 2019, being here, hereafter amended as follows to decrease the total appropriations for the school purposes by $1,400,000. And do I have a second? Do second. I have a second? Second. Thank you. Are there any comments or questions on this motion? Any comments or questions on this motion? I have no comments. I think it doesn't take out enough, but that's all. Councilor Rell? There was concern last night, and you know, unfortunately, I'm just looking at this stuff right now. The net adjustment to the Board of Ed budget was a decrease of 368212 and that is from sheet one of this budget uh, reconciliation. Is that, inc is that included in the 1.4 million decrease? Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, just looking at it. And You're referring to the custodial benefits. Right. Yep. Yes. Um, in the original Board of Ed budget that was presented to us, there was a, was there an increase or a decrease of approximately $900,000 that was originally proposed? So our number... Our calculated number when it came over was, <clears throat> was it 981? Uh, uh, Mike, if you recall, I don't have the sheet in front of me, which we were anticipating, which would include increases for any adjustments for this year. I don't believe the original budget had that reflected. Could you just repeat the question for me? The original proposed budget presented to us from the Board of Ed, there was a discrepancy of nine hundred thousand dollars for custodial where what was the final reconciled number for the town so the sheet you have that you're referring to there was an issue with the shift of costs from the board to the town 
for custodial and maintenance services. The board had taken out 4.2 million, 4.3 million, um, and we were adding 5.1. And so there was a, a reconciliation. We got down to the, the issue was in determining benefits because of the way the board budgets benefits, they don't break it out by department. Um, this sheet resolves that difference. So we've worked with the business office, with the business manager, um, and finalized that today. But the total difference was $693,000. And that's just reduced by some changes that were not taken into account when the board prepared its proposed budget. Okay. So the real difference was 693000 not the 900 that we had been discussing. Okay. And if you think about it, that we also had a difference between 4.3 million, which the board showed in, in all their presentations that had mm -hmm. been taken out. Mm -hmm. And uh, prior to benefits, my reconciliation showed 4.1 million. So there's a $200,000 $200, difference there. So the okay. board had picked up part of the, part of the benefits. Okay. Call, it, call it 200,000, so you, 200 plus. So it gets us down to the, to the 693, call it 700,000. And then after that, there's adjustments for, uh, again, just better information since the board had prepared its budget. They uh, assume 9% increase in medical. Our consultant is telling us 11%, so there's adjustment for that. And then the pension, the, the number from Milliman came in after the board had prepared its proposed budget. Okay. So those are those three offsets you see below. It takes the 693 down to 368. Mm -hmm. This, in, for those in the audience and listening, this is reflective of our shared services with the Board of Ed for the custodial, correct? And yes. And so for the net. Does that shared services or, you know, what we and the board agreed to last year or the year before, is there a savings by having the custodial moved over from the Board of Ed to the town side? In, looking at the numbers that we are faced with today. Are there savings? Uh, in terms of personnel costs, the staffing is the same. There's contractual increases. The benefits those employees are entitled to were, went up by the same amount that they did for all other employees. So no savings there. Um, what was done was all of the, also utilities and the maintenance, budgeted maintenance uh, funds also came over to the town. Utilities went up based on the analysis that was done mm -hmm. at, on the, at the business office and in my office. Uh, the maintenance, piece and I'll just like to get that amount bear with me it's page 37 of your workbook if you care to uh, total maintenance was roughly $780,000. That amount, because of physical services, Sally Katz said, you know, let's, let's just take that amount without any increase and see, see how it serves us. So there was no increase there. But it, so to answer your question, I mean, no savings, but a flat 0% was taken on that piece of it just to, again, you know, with new management, if you will, we're going to see what that what we think that number is. But okay. we were at no basis for increasing it. Okay, so really, no realized savings with the the combination. I mean, factor in increase in utility costs, increase in um, contractual pay, and then medical going up. I mean, no increase. The board, no, there's. there's more budgeted this year than last year for that group. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and those were co those are costs that they would have had to absorb regard no matter absorb what. regardless, right? So right. the hope is a long term impact yeah. and a ability to uh, 
to adjust things as we go, as opportunities, attrition, mm -hmm. um, growth opportunities, sense. right? Better knowledge and understanding of the maintenance barriers that might be coming forward um, and how we work it into our budget going forward. So there's okay. a long-term plan. That yeah. Yeah. we would realize some savings. Yep. Okay. I would like to have seen the the 1.4 increased, um, and I, you know, I'll save my comments for the end. But um, you know, I think there could be a, additional savings on that. Um, I know the board probably rolls their eyes every time we say that every year, um, but uh, I think we got to do a little bit deeper of a dig. Um, you know, maybe more with a, a scalpel and look at uh, some of the numbers a little bit further. Thank you. Any other comments or questions? Deputy Mayor? Uh, Mike, just for uh, savings on the shared services part, uh, the salary grade of the person higher was lower than the facility manager, so there was some savings there. The secretary that came over left and was replaced with somebody at a lower salary grade. So, you know, from those two things alone, there was some savings from that aspect alone. It's, it's minuscular, but it, it's still a, a savings. Right. I think through coordinations and inefficiencies, we'll see more savings in the future. Let's hope. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? Okay. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? No. Abstentions? Motion carries. Thank you. Is Dolores, did you get the is did you get the one no or two or three? Who, who voted no? Mike and two no's. Okay, Jody, you're two no's. You, I'm a yes. Okay. Thank you. The next motion. That the motion that the total appropriations for the school purposes be set at fifty five million seven hundred and fifty nine thousand three hundred and thirty nine dollars for the fiscal year beginning July one, twenty nineteen. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. Are there any questions on this motion? Comments? Okay. Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? No. Abstentions? Motion carries. Um, number four? Motion that the town council adopt the town budget as submitted by the town manager on March 28, 2019, and as amended by the town council in the sum of Fifty million two hundred ninety nine thousand two hundred and six dollars for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2019. Okay, have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Okay, thank you. Any discussion on this motion? Any comments or questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Um, opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. Thank you. Number five. Motion that the total appropriations for the capital and non-recurring road fund be set at $1,800,000 for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2019. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. Any comments or questions on this motion? Councilor Rell. I just had a question about last year's um, road fund. Uh, if I remember correctly, we were at one point five. But we increased it by three hundred thousand dollars. Yes. To one point eight. So we're not increasing this further um, with right. the needs that are out there. We're the town has been fortunate to receive some funds coming in um, as well. So our engineering department will be busy for the year on on road projects. So are we? Are are you saying there may be additional funds coming in? Uh, well, we received state funding for two areas of town, so that, that rather than increasing the 1.8, we're using those state funds to address um, Wolcott Hill to Jordan okay. or Jordan Is that to Town Aid to Road funds. Um, or? I, was that qualified specific? That was separately. That was a separate grant, correct? That those were so, separate. Yeah, loads, those were separate loads of grants. Right. Okay. Separate, separate grants through Crogs. Okay. And do we know how much? Those were for. This was the the projects uh, that we voted on. Wolcott Hill. Yep. Yeah. And, I think and Highland, Highland Street. Highland, 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 Highland yeah. Thornbush. Okay. Yeah, to Thornbush. Yeah. Thornbush down. Got it. Okay. Thank you. And Mike, plus those two projects, we finally received this year 
the drainage money to fix Bell Pond Dam. Yep. So because of all that additional work, our, our town engineering staff is going to be very busy trying to get all that stuff done. So to increase, you know, the actual road thing, you know, I don't know if they could get to it with everything else on their plate. Right. Okay. Any other comments or questions? Okay. Seeing none, all in favor? Yes. Aye. 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 Any abstentions? Uh, any any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carries. <clears throat> Motion that the appropriations for the library purposes be set at two million twenty three thousand nine hundred and thirty four dollars for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2019. Okay, we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Okay, any comments or questions on this motion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. Number seven. Motion that the total amount to be raised by taxes for the town, library, school, and capital and non-recurring road funds purposes combined be set at $92,193,981 for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2019. Okay, do we, ha we have a motion? Do we have a second? Second. Is that Councilor Spinella? Yeah. Yep. Okay, any comments or questions on this? Okay, seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, opposed? No. no. Abstentions? Motion carries. Thank you. Motion that the general fund tax rate on all taxable properties be set at 40.21 mills for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2019. Have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Any comments or questions on this motion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. no. Abstentions? Motion carries. Thank you. And number nine? Motion that the capital and non-recurring roads fund tax rate on all taxable properties be set at 0.53 mills for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2019. Okay. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Okay. Any comments or questions on this motion? Councilor Rell. Um, just a question on the combined mill rate so if we combine 40.21 for uh, general fund tax rate and the road tax or mill rate we're at 40.74 is that the combined mill rate yes what was last year's uh, combined mill rate 40.78 40.78 yes and then would the 40.74 take into consideration reval? Yes. <clears throat> so despite a reval, we are only seeing a decrease of 0 0.04 in our mill rate? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Any other comments or questions? Councilor Forrest. Related to that question, it appears that if we take reval in, that the tax increase is 0.10%, according to the math, which is pretty low. Still an increase, though. 0.10. Not even one. 0.1. Oh, no, but people's taxes are going up. $7 on average, yes. $7. The Happy Meal. $7. Um, anything else? Yeah, I don't agree with that, but. Okay. Do you want to make an additional comment? No, I'm okay. Good. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? <laughs> Motion carries. You said I. I know. I didn't. I didn't hear. I wasn't sure. Um, okay. Uh, that concludes all of our motions. Do council members have comments? before we adjourn the meeting this evening. I have a comment. Councilor Spinella. The, um, since, since I've been on the town council, I think everybody's pretty much of the opinion that this is not a sustainable form of government that we have, raising taxes every year and not consolidating uh, enough services. Uh, I think we need at some point in the 
immediate future need to look at really consolidating a lot of the you know duplication we have between the Board of Ed and the Town Council um, we cannot continue to just raise people's property taxes uh, to support this government because it just it's not going to work and, and I've asked I won't ask this town manager because he's new but I've asked every uh, budget we passed I asked the town manager is this sustainable and every time I was told no um, so I think at some point we need to take a real hard look at you know really consolidating some things and changing the way uh, we give services to the people of this town thank you thank you <clears throat> anything else Councillor Rell I have to concur with uh, Councillor Spinella um, you know it's every budget that I'm looking at and you know we all read the paper we see the news uh, if the tolls pass if um, the passed down to the towns for uh, teachers retirement uh, increases in um, business taxes uh, paid family medical leave minimum wage uh, you name it everything that is uh, affecting uh, our con uh, economy affects our pocketbooks and if it's uh, seven dollars uh, as Councillor uh, Forrest says or a hundred and some that we kind of figured out uh, it's just nickel and diming the the residents of not only Wethersfield but the state of Connecticut and I agree it's unsustainable uh, hopefully we can uh, maybe put together a, uh, a working group uh, over the next uh, couple months and maybe look at some of the consolidation for a little bit further and a little bit deeper um, like I had said about the Board of Ed budget uh, maybe have uh, both of us at the table to uh, to really look at the budget and see how we can um, begin the process of uh, either stabilizing or um, heaven forbid decreasing um, the spending that goes on so I appreciate the time to speak thank you okay anybody else Councillor Lesser would you like to make a motion to adjourn no. I move we adjourn <laughs> do we have a second all in favor Aye. 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 thank you